Normally, you collect form data for a department or group. That group needs direct access to the data, so a group MS form, one associated with the team, should be used. However, the Get Email Notification feature doesn't work for group forms. Let's create an easy flow in Power Automate to get notifications. Select the waffle icon and Power Automate. Select Templates and type Add a SharePoint item and post. Select the template and the Continue button. Select the first action. This is the triggering action. Notice that the action is asking for the form ID. If the form were associated with an individual, you'd see the form and the pull down. Group forms require using the Enter Custom Value option. Go back to your form, select Collect Responses, and copy the link. Paste the link in Word and find ID equals in the link. Delete it and everything before it. Copy the link, return to the flow, and select Enter Custom Value. Paste the form link and use the arrow to close the action. Select the second action and enter the form ID, just like you did for the first action. Select the third action, select the dot 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 more button, and delete. We don't need this action. Select OK to confirm. If you don't want to be notified in Teams, you can delete the post message and chat or channel action. For now, select it and choose your team from the pull down. Select the channel for the post. In the message section, compose what you want your post to say. Let's remove the body dynamic content by using the X and add something like the following. You can format the message using the menu tools and add dynamic content using the lightning bolt icon. To add the email address of the person that submitted the form, select responders email. Select the last action and enter emails into the to field. Be sure to separate emails using a semicolon and select use as a custom value to enter the addresses. Remove the body content and add a subject. Remove the body content and compose your email. Update the flow name by selecting it and then save the flow. Once the flow is done saving, use the arrow button to go to the flow details page. Now run a test by submitting a form. You should get an email and a post in Teams. If you want your post to include an at mention, select the edit button, select the plus sign above the post message action and add action. Type mention in search and select token for user. If you use tags in your team, for example, if you have a group of members tagged as form reviewers, you can use the token for a tag action instead to notify all group members. Enter a single email address for the person you want to at mention. If you have more than one person you want to at mention, you'll need to add actions for each user token you want to use. Select the post message in chat or channel action and add the token in the message. Save and run another test. Finally, if you want your team to have access to the flow, select edit in the co-owners window, type the team name in the search, select the team and okay.